Good evening and welcome to RTD's English News Edition, The Headlines. Concerning the Bella's fire incidents, the Prime Minister handed over the keys of houses to the victims. And on the international news in Australia, authorities stopped the terror flight to take down an airplane. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. The Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed and the Foundation Right to Housing, initiated and created by the President of the Republic, was still in the honor today at Bilbala. Indeed, it was the end of a nightmare and painful days for some 199 families who have lost everything in the fire that ravaged the area called Four Meter on last Tuesday, 18 July. The families of this district, as, mo as the most vulnerable, have received this morning from the hands of the Prime Minister the keys of their new houses. These houses are located on the same side of social housing in the course of construction. Upon his arrival, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed was welcomed by the Minister of the Interior, Hassan Umar, who is also the coordinator of the management of Balbala's disaster relief. The Prime Minister was also welcomed by the Minister of Women and Family, Mumina Hamad Hassan, the Mayor of the City of Djibouti, Fatouma Awal Osman, the Secretary General of the Secretary of State in Charge of Social Affairs, as well as the Director General of the Foundation Right to Housing, in by a crowd of happy affected uh, beneficiaries of the fire of Bilbala. After the delivery of the keys of the new homes, the Prime Minister has taken advantage of this opportunity to meet with the beneficiaries settled in the new houses. They have expressed to the Prime Minister their satisfaction to have benefited from new housing, but also of aid composed of food, kitchen utensils, and mattresses and blankets. Following these discussions with the victims, the Prime Minister has in an interview clarified that the remaining families have been relocated. In the Director General of the Foundation Right to Housing has also in an interview given to the RTD indicated that today they conduct the handing over of the keys at the 20 100 remaining families recalling that the President of the Republic had uh, distributed the last Thursday the first 100 houses to the families affected by the fire. He said that these houses are part of the foundation right to housing initiated and built by the President of the Republic, Smail Margili, and they are equipped with solar panels, has explained the director. An information day on the disaster management center in the military hospital was presided over by the Prime Minister today. Arrived from the scene, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed was welcomed with the honors by the Brigadier General Dahir uh, Mohammed Ali and the Director of the Service of Dr. Colonel Ahmed Hassan Bulali. Were also present the Minister of Interior Hassan Umar, the Minister of Women Mumina, the Mayor of the City of Djibouti, Ms. Fatima Osman, the Director of the National Security, Mr. Hassan Khayre, in the presence of the Major General Zikriya Sheikh Ibrahim, many officers of the Defense Forces and Security, such as the Director of the National Police, Colonel Abdullahi Abdi. The objective of the information day was to make known two essential points, which are the fact that the military hospital has been certified as the only level hospital in Djibouti, real level hospital in Djibouti with its certification. A simulation in flight video of the operation of this center has been submitted to the delegation as well. At the end of the presentation, the Prime Minister and the delegation have visited the Center Management of Disasters, that is it for sense, the organization of the center. It should be noted that it has been set up in case of natural disasters uh, to manage the flow of patients. The different uh, doctors have explained the role of each unit to know the absolute urgency as well as the laboratory and the pharmaceutical support.
In speaking for this occasion, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed has congratulated the Armed Forces in Djibouti to the Center for the Management of Emergencies. He has also emphasized the excellence of the military hospital, uh, which uh, he said uh, reached a level to a single structure with international label in the country. The Republic of Djibouti has strongly condemned today the firing of a ballistic missile by the Houthis militia of Yemen toward the Holy Mecca the last Thursday, 27 July 2017. Our country expresses in a press release published by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation its full solidarity with Saudi Arabia. As a result of this attack, the Republic of Djibouti has also renewed its support for the legitimacy in Yemen and the efforts to achieve a comprehensive peace settlement based on the agreed reference to note the initiative of the Gulf, the results of the national dialogue and the resolutions of the Security Council of the United Nations. This missile has been intercepted 69 kilometers to the south of the holy city located in the west of the Saudi Arabia according to the Arab coalition which intervenes militarily in Yemen. Yemen. Well, to the rest of the news, in the framework of the International Day of the Fight Against the Treaty of Persons, a workshop to raise awareness of the general public to the trafficking in the human uh, beings was held today at the Institute of Diplomatic Studies. The theme was the awareness of the general public to better assist and protect the victims. This workshop is organized by the Department of Justice in partnership with the Embassy of the United States. It saw the participation of the Minister of Justice in charge of human rights, Mumin Ahmed Sher, the Charge d'Affaires of the MPC of America, Alex Hilton, the representative of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, Jose Villa del Castillo, and on the Djibouti side, the Secretary General of the Department of Justice and the Attorney General, as well as the many representative security forces, but also representative of the Union of Djibouti and Women. This workshop is a follow-up to that one celebrated last year, uh, whose purpose was to present the Act Number 133. Uh, against the trafficking of human beings to all departments and institutions responsible for the issue as well as the actors of the criminal chain. The trafficking of human beings is a crime reaching to human dignity and also the fundamental rights of the persons. We started by ratifying the protocols of the Palermo Convention. They also ratified the Palermo Convention itself and they started working on the national strategy. They set up the, the national coordination group and they started working on the, on the writing of the new law. In the awareness workshop on the fight against trafficking of humans has seen the participation of Mr. Alex Hilton in charge of the affairs of the United Na Nations uh, United States Embassy. He has commended the efforts of Djibouti in the fight against this courage and promised the commitment and support of the American government. And the Minister of Justice, Mumin Ahmed, has announced that the theme of raising awareness is very important for the assistance and protection of victims of trafficking. He has clarified uh, that the Republic of Djibouti has strengthened its legal and has provided a training for uh, actors in fight against trafficking by putting the victims at the heart of the rescue plans. In the morning of this Sunday, the Minister of the Equipment and Transport, Mohammed Abdul Qadir Musa, accompanied by his collaborators, went on the bridge of Italy to give the kickoff for the rehabilitation works of the bridge called Ambuli Plus, a place of main passage between Djibouti and Belbela and the rest of the country. The section linking the National Road uh, 1 and the National Road 2 to Negad, uh, near the University of Djibouti, will be built. The work of construction of the section of a kilometer linking road, uh, road of Arta to the National Road of Loyada uh, will be conducted closely to the work of the rehabilitation of the bridge of Italy by a Chinese company. In this visit, the minister was accompanied by the Director General of the Djibouti Agency of Roads, ADR, and the representative of the Chinese company.
The Minister of Transfer in an intervention granted to National Television has explained that the bridge will soon be renovated and that a Chinese company called China First Highway Engineering Company is responsible for the rehabilitation of the bridge of Ombuli and the construction of this stretch of the road. Following the death of the player Yusuf Abdelayftin, a famous star of football in Djibouti, the President of the African Federation of Football, Mr. Ahmed, has sent an address on his name and on behalf of his executive committee, his sincere condolences to all the relatives of the deceased. May the good God welcome him in his internal paradise. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. And on the international news, and to close up this edition with Prime Minister uh, Malcolm Turnbull uh, says counter-terrorism agencies have stopped a plot to bring down a plane in a terrorist attack in Australia. Four men were arrested on Saturday night when heavily armed counter-terrorism officers raided four Sydney properties of an alleged plot to blow up an aircraft. Mr. Turnbull said increased security measures have been placed on all Australian airports. In Australian Federal Police Commissioner Andrew uh, Colvin said officers become aware people in Sydney were uh, planning to commit a terrorist attack using an improvised device. Commissioner Colvin said the four men in custody had not been charged by police. Police believe the attack will target the Australian aviation industry at a major airport. This is it for this edition. Thank you for staying with us and have a good night.